Number nine, why do the boiling points of the noble gases increase in the order of helium to neon to argon to krypton to xenon? Okay, so if I just write that out, so we're looking at all of our uh, noble gases, right? So we have helium, we got neon, we got argon, then comes krypton, and then finally we got xenon. So, in this fashion, these signs are saying that whatever's to the left is, you know, less than. So, we're saying that if we're doing it in this way, that helium has the lowest boiling point. Maybe I'll just put BP for boiling point. And that means that xenon has the highest boiling point. Okay. Now, if we look on a periodic table... Right, if we quickly just look on the periodic table, and here's my periodic table right here. Love this box. And if we can pinpoint where where these are, oops, on the periodic table, it turns out that they're noble gases, right? So they're they're in group 18, and helium is the top, then comes neon, then comes argon, then comes krypton, and then xenon. So they're all in the same group. And it seems that if we take the same trend as we're going down the group, right, and as we're going down the group, we are increasing in boiling point. Why is that? Well, this is all about the intermolecular forces. Now, if we're just talking about a single atom, right? A single atom of helium, a single atom of neon, a single atom of argon, and krypton and xenon. The only forces that these would have are dispersion forces. These are not polar molecules, right? There's no um, asymmetry to these molecules. It's literally just one atom. So these have your dispersion forces, we could also call them as London forces or Van der Waals. All of these basically are the same uh, forces. It's all the forces. These three forces are basically one cumulative force in that it's all the force of every molecule that's out there. So every molecule, whether you're polar or nonpolar, will always have dispersion forces, which are London or Van der Waals forces. Um, now just know that when you're talking about these, these are based off of molecular mass and the more, um, molecular mass that you have, the more force or attraction to the molecules. And just know that if you have a, we'll just say if your dispersion forces are higher, That means that it takes a lot of force to break um, those intermolecular forces to make it into another state, so like a liquid or a solid or a gas, right, depending on where you're going. But just know that if you have more force, you're going to need higher temps, and that's when the boiling points are going to go up. And... If your boiling points are going to go up, and it's specifically dispersion forces, this is due to a increase in molecular mass or molecular weight, whatever you want to, you know, say. So if I just highlight this, there we go. That's good enough. We'll do a straight line, straight line. Beautiful. Beautiful. So, if we look on the periodic table, we'll see that since we're going down the group, we're increasing in boiling point because you're increasing in molecular mass. The more mass you have, the more dispersion forces, the higher the boiling point. So, why do the boiling points of the noble gases increase in order of helium to neon to argon to krypton to xenon? Is because helium has the lowest molecular mass which in turn has the lowest dispersion forces. Dispersion force. 
On the flip side, xenon, it's got the highest boiling point, which accumulates into the highest mass, molecular mass, on the periodic table, which, in turn, is the highest dispersion force, the highest attraction. So this idea right here is basically your answer. So the culmination of lower the boiling point, lower the molecular mass, higher the boiling point, higher the molecular mass, that's basically all that it is. And hopefully this makes sense. Let me know in the comments. Thank you so much for viewing the video. Subscribe to the channel if you want to help us out. We also have physics and math videos out on the channel at the moment, which much more in the future. So go check it out. Love helping you guys out. And I hope you're doing well out there. Let's keep studying hard. I'm rooting for you on your next test or quiz. I'll talk to you later. Bye. -bye.